and welcome to my channel thank you so much for watching today's pack with me video i don't know what that was but i am very excited to pack with you for our upcoming walt disney world vacation celebrating someone very special in my life aka my husband he is turning the big 3-0 and he wanted to go to Walt Disney World, so I said, absolutely, let's go. So his birthday is March 13th. We are leaving on March 12th. So we are most likely already back by the time you are seeing this video. But we are very much looking forward to going. We are going with my parents and his parents and my sister. His sister is an accountant. And so she is unable to come with us, but we are very much looking forward to spending lots of time in the most magical place. We have not been back since January, which I know is like not that long at all whatsoever. We'll have a bigger gap between our March and then our next trip from January to March, but it just feels like we haven't been there in a while. So I am very excited to head back to the parks and experience all the fun new things, the Flower and Garden Festival, and we are going to do a new tour, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss that. But make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up, and let's get started. We are heading to Walt Disney World from March 12th through March 19th. I have my outfits planned out, aka pretty much my packing list, clothes wise, of like what I want to bring. We originally were gonna go Sunday to Saturday because if our hockey team, like our local college team that we always go to games, if we get home ice the first week of the playoffs, that would be that weekend but flights were so expensive like outrageously expensive so we just decided you know what we're just gonna have to miss that weekend if we do get home ice which i don't think we will unless we like win both games this weekend we possibly could there is a lot that has to happen anyways so we are now going tuesday to tuesday and we as in Jackson and I and my parents. His parents and my sister are coming Tuesday to Saturday and then they all have to leave. So we will have that couple extra days which is very exciting. I am happy that we get to stay there longer than just like a weekend trip or a couple of days. We have a couple of friends that are coming down, Ashton and Nick, they live in Tennessee. So they are coming down Thursday night I believe yes and so they'll be with us two full park days which is gonna be really exciting because we have not seen them since my 30th birthday trip which was November of 23 so haven't seen them in a while no 20 it's 24 22 oh my goodness when we had the hurricane Nicole roll roll through yes it was my 30th birthday trip and the hurricane was named after me which honestly like it's for the mems, but it was kind of annoying. So let's get into our outfit planning. So I pretty much have, why do I say so all the time? I pretty much have all of my outfits planned out for our trip. There's one outfit that is just a giving Epcot vibes, but I can't wear it to Epcot because, and I can say this, because one, he's not home right now, and to when I release this video, he will already know this. I got all of us matching t-shirts for Jackson's birthday in Epcot. They are amazing. They literally have his picture on them when he was a small child. And it says Jackson's 30th birthday. I am very excited about them. But I have to wear that on our first Epcot day. And I'm going um, to get currently going to be delivered today from amazon like a red skirt or like red bikers haven't like fully decided probably weather depending too um my black ears that day most likely and then my on clouds and i got this cutest black backpack from ebay i saw people a couple of people carrying it around in epcot and it was like vintage so i'm like so excited to use that 
So the outfit that I really want that's like giving Epcot is Donald Duck inspired. And it is a jacket, so I can't wear it for our next trip. But I also got a Batu bar crawl shirt from Zippity Tees. And I was going to wear that to studios this time, but I think I'm going to save it for our next trip because I won't be able to wear my Donald Duck outfit next trip because it'll be too warm. So I'm going to wear my Donald Duck outfit to studios is what it is. I feel like studios is the hardest. Like Epcot, you can normally like make your outfits around the festivals or the season that you're in. Magic Kingdom, normally it's like just Disney or princesses or just like magical vibes. Animal Kingdom obviously is animals. Studios is the hardest for me because there are so many different IPs <laughs> in that park. And I just love dressing up like with all my Toy Story stuff. But then when we go ride a Star Wars ride, I'm like, I feel like I need a freaking change because I have my Lotso ball or whatever. I think it's called the Lotso ball. Yeah, like the Pixar ball. Ears on, chilling in bad too. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Is what it is. I know. First world problems, absolutely. And then we're going to Magic Kingdom. And I have a new um, Tangled Princess shirt that I got from Box Launch. So cute. Can't wait to show you. Um, I am very, like, big into bikers and, like, leggings. When I go on Disney trips, they're just comfort is key. Comfort is number one always for me. And so then I'm going to wear my new Princess Fanny pack. So excited. My Rapunzel ears. Lion King. Lion King. Animal Kingdom is on the 16th on that Saturday. My sister's leaving on Sunday. She changed her plans because I'm like, we're going to Animal Kingdom on that day now so she can go to all four parks. Lion King sweater, most likely. I don't think I've worn this since our January of 2020 trip, possibly. I think that's correct. It is so stinging cute. I got it at Zara. It is like so old, so it's like four years old. So old, four years. It's not old at all. But you know what I mean? Um, once you see it, you're gonna want it. But I don't think it's available. Um, I might wear jeans with that. I still haven't decided. Lion King ears on clouds. I, I'm like really into bags this trip, I guess. Because I think I might bring my Animal Kingdom backpack that I bought during our last trip in October, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was in October. And then we are going to Epcot that night. So I think that night I might be able to pull a like flower and garden vibes outfit. Not sure yet, but that's the idea. And then Epcot on Sunday again is actually St. Patrick's Day. And so I got a really cute St. Patrick's vibey shirt from Amazon. I'll leave it linked down below. Now it's going to be past St. Patrick's Day, but if you're going and it's fun and cute, um, I'll probably again just wear like black bikers, leggings, depending on the weather. I normally will wear bikers in the morning and then just pack um, leggings in my bag for later that night because sometimes it gets cold out. And then Magic Kingdom on Monday. Haven't decided what I'm wearing there. I normally just take a couple of extra rando items with us. So might just end up throwing an outfit together that day or whatevs. So yeah. And then on the 19th, Tuesday, we travel home. So I am going to... So I have pulled a couple of these items out now. I have like my Donald Duck outfit hung up, my princess one hung up. But I need to pull everything else and get it all organized. I also have a couple of really fun new packing items that I got from Stony Clover's Princess Collection. I am so excited to show you. I got a vanity case for the first time from Stony Clover. And y'all, it has been here for at least a week, maybe two. And I have not done anything with it because I want to pack it for the first time with you. And it has been killing me. To wait but we waited and now we're gonna do it i'm so excited ah! we are um today is march 5th so this video will be like a couple of days long i actually at this very moment am gonna go run on the treadmill but later today i definitely want to 
get some of this stuff organized so then i don't have to like rewash anything i'm gonna wear it don't wear it for the next week just put it away things like that but i will see you in a moment okie dokie it's the next day I haven't done any packing i did a little bit of organizing of my area but that's it i am actually on my break now for work for the day and i want to pack my vanity case i've been waiting far too long so we're just gonna do it there's not a lot to the case in general but i'll show you a little overview of it and then we're gonna jump in and get it all packed up so here is my princess vanity case so it has spots up on top for your different brushes for makeup or whatever could also even put like liners possibly up there i love this print inside too it is so pretty and then it actually has a just a little baby pocket in here and i'm not sure like what i'll end up putting in there but i am so excited and i cannot wait any longer also hi but i'm watching live stream from Epcot. Anyone else just like love watching live stream? This is my current makeup bag situation. This is actually a pouch from the Target collab. So kind of old and not really. I was just thinking too I could stick like my mascaras in this little pouch. I probably couldn't put them up there. Um anyway so I do have oh I think this is actually on oh the bogies. So I have this mirror. I got this just because Going on vacations, there's not like a ton of mirror space sometimes. And if there's like a lot of us in their room getting ready, this is nice to have. But it, I'm not going to put it in here, but it fits perfectly on the bottom. So that is good to know. I won't have to bring this with me this time because we have a one bedroom and that has two bathrooms. So we should be good. But this is my Tula filter primer this is like what i wear on the daily i also one second i also started getting this because i wanted some type of moisturizer with sunscreen um to be honest i feel like my face kind of broke out but i don't know if it was because of this or if it's just like tis the season um but yeah so still up in the air on this guy and this honestly would go with my skincare so we're not gonna put that in my vanity Alrighty, i recently just cleaned my makeup brushes so they are all nice and ready to go i'm actually gonna get my biggest one out first this one is from tarte and it's like their foundation brush and she might be too big of a cow. Come on, honey. Nope. This is mm, not start, not start enough strong here, folks. Yeah, that one isn't gonna fit in there, which I didn't think it was going to, which is fine. So I have these other ones. Come on. This is like my bronzer brush. <gasps> that one fits. And then I honestly would like to put this one in here. But this one is a two-sider, so I don't want to, like, totally smush my brushes, bristle, bristles. That's definitely not going to fit in that one. I legitimately only use, like, one eyeshadow brush, so that can go in there. And then I have eyebrow pencil, eyebrow pencil. That fit in there. Ooh, that fits in there. So that's kind of cute. Oh, look how cute that is. Okay, so then I have my eyeshadow. This is like literally what I've used for can't even tell you how long. And then now it's getting like top heavy. Okay, that's the first negative. Not really loving that. That's old. Um, and then let's move this over here and pull off it up against. Okay. So I have my like translucent powder, like for helping set. I don't really know very much. Um, Mario, I should say I don't, I don't know very much about makeup. 
I know, like, the gist. So I have this Mario bronzer, which I love. Love, love, love that. I have, I'm not gonna open this because it's broken, but it's like a highlighter. And then I have hair tool, obviously. Um, some different Tarte. I love my Mario foundation that needs to be like cleaned. But I also enjoy using Tarte. Is it all the ones I have? Oh my gosh, is this one full? Oh, come on. Oh my gosh. <gasps> that is amazing. I'm so happy. Okay, focus. Um, Mascara. Where's my other mascara? Oh, here it is. So, three mascaras. Technically, I probably have four. Where is my other guy? Oh, I found another brush that I can throw in here. There we go. One moment. Okay, so mascara. I really like the... I really like the, ugh, start over. Okay, so for my mascara, I really like the L'Oreal telescopic ones. I'm pretty sure these like are both empty. Um, but recently I've just been using this Tarte one and then I always bring like my Too Faced water, water, my waterproof one as well. Um, and then I like doing my like base with this Dior so it's like white mascara and it's just a serum and so I think I should be able to put those oh maybe not I don't think I'll be able to put those in there which is fine that's not a big deal at all um, I could put that in there though Ooh, I could fancy okay so mascaras go in there I am so excited I found a beauty counter lip conditioner they discontinued these and y'all when I tell you that I have been using these for oh my gosh at least the past six or seven years and I'm finally running out and I'm getting really sad but I just found one so that's exciting okay what else do I have in here I have a hair clip beauty blender I don't use this a ton but like to have it just in case I have a morphe eye shadow primer some shimmery stuff I packed a couple of like my glittery items for run Disney last time but I won't need them this time and then I have a just a clip this thing is a mess and then I personally love this little guy. I got it on Amazon and it just like helps unclump your mascara, which is kind of exciting. So I'm actually gonna put that in the little pocket there. And then all of my tarts. So I just have like so many different kinds. I like, this is like the concealer. They're all like the concealer, but this is the larger size. I sometimes will use this as my foundation. I don't know if you're technically not supposed to do that, but I will sometimes do that. And then I also use like Mario foundation as well. This is under three ounces. It's only one fluid ounce. So like all this is totally safe to go on the plane with me. If I would check my bag, I won't check this stuff or I will check this stuff i won't carry it on with me um sometimes i end up carrying it on with me but we are not going to carry on this stuff this time so we can throw that in there and then something else that i have been really liking is the morphe setting spray i feel like this helps a ton but this is too big and i don't know where my little one went Let's go check in the closet. Okay, so it was in here. So yep, so I have a little one that I can travel with. Again, this one's 1.3 ounces. This one, oh, it's technically 2.8, so that don't matter. Doesn't matter, but just easier for travel. Gonna take the smaller one. one. But then I can stick my other hair products in here. Oh, you know what else I can put in here? Oh my gosh. This is just getting 
so exciting. Okay, so I have this little guy that I like to take. And then I also have this case that just has all like bobby pins, extra hair ties, like mini hair ties. I can stick this in here as well. Oh yeah. Should go this way. And then I can smoosh it in there a little bit more. <gasps> ah, that's so exciting. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Bless it. We're ready to go. Let's go girls. <gasps> so cute. Okay, outfits are ready. So I have a couple of different options, but I feel pretty secure about what I am bringing. So I have my travel outfit, jean jacket, which is like a staple. I have this really cute daisy sweater that I might wear to Magic Kingdom um, on Monday with my daisy fanny. I think it'd be cute with these pink bikers but also have jeans and black leggings as well. I was just processing if I should bring my purple ones, but I won't. I guess we're going backwards. So then Sunday is actually St. Patrick's Day and I was just gonna do my regular black ears, but then I realized I had this gold bow. So that will be really cute. And I got us like some fun St. Patrick's Day necklaces. So then this outfit then is for Epcot on Jackson's birthday. Look how cute he is. I can't even handle it. He's adorable. Um, so that's his shirt and my shirt because he doesn't know about that yet. So we gotta keep that hidden. And then I have my red skirts and red bikers just in case. Not sure what ears yet, but black ears will go with like this cute Donald Duck outfit. Black ears will go with this cute Donald Duck outfit if I don't wear them over there. Or I might wear my headband. I don't know. Animal Kingdom outfit. I might bring a shirt too just in case. It might rain that day and so I don't know if I want to have like a big sweater on. But then I have this really cute tangled tea for Magic Kingdom as well on Saturday. I need to get another outfit for Saturday night. We're going to Epcot. I want it like flower and garden vibes. And then probably just like one or two other t-shirts. I have not like leggings, bikers that I'm going to bring. But yeah, now we have to just pack everything up. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile 
Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Forever 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 I watch you as you sleep You don't know I'm looking with you everything's complete Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Forever 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 I'm loving this moment Can we stay here forever? This moment, can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? As you know, I have been like curating and getting all the things ready for the past couple of days. This is the issue with doing that. And just like this is the issue with going to Orlando in the spring. So it was in like the low 70s all last week of like what the weather is going to be. Currently now... It is in the high 80s, almost 90s. <laughs> and it is like 50, 40% chance of rain some days. Like it's going to be, so for example, the other day it was like going to rain all day on Saturday. Now it's only a 34% chance and now it's 52 on Wednesday. It's all over the place. I'm packing. I have enough like shorts, biker shorts and all that jazz. But I think I need to pack more regular t-shirts. So I have a t-shirt for Wednesday. Thursday is Studios. I think so. I'll have to look at my list. I think it was a Donald Duck outfit. I have a t-shirt for Magic Kingdom. Animal Kingdom is the one that I need to grab a t-shirt for because I'm bringing like a bigger sweater. Which, at this rate, do I even do that? Because it's supposed to be... That's all. Orlando, there we go. Um, it's supposed to be 87 now on Saturday. So, I feel like I need to get a t-shirt for Saturday. Sunday, I have a t-shirt. Monday, I do not. So I need to grab like two more shirts just in case. Yeah. Do I have enough biker shorts? I feel like I have enough biker shorts. 
Probably will like throw in a skirt or two just for good measure. Yeah, and then I think we should be good. I'm sad, but I think I'm just gonna ditch my Animal Kingdom sweater. Make sure you subscribe so you can see me freezing at Animal Kingdom now, most likely. It's just so stinking cute. Like, I just love it so much. It just isn't really practical because if it's gonna be 90 degrees, I'm not wearing that. Okay, so instead of that, I'm still gonna bring jeans just in case. So I have a very wrinkly skirt. Thankfully we're in a one bedroom, so we have laundry. And I will just fluff that. Or not, who knows, but I'm just gonna bring this cute little crop, like Animal Kingdom, or Lion King vibes. Um, this is just from Disney with the Oh My Disney collection. And then I'm just bringing my Cheering Happily Ever After from Zippity Tees because I can wear my Disney stuff whenever I want. It doesn't just have to be during race weekend. Alrighty, so that is all gonna go in there. We might still bring up my sweater. We'll see. Most likely not just because like again. Right now it's telling me it's gonna be warm and I don't want to be Sweating my thing off. Do I bring this? I just feel like that's so cute. I love it. It's adorable. Okay. We'll bring it. I'm normally an ears girl, but might wear that because I don't match the fanny. That's what I'm going for. I was going to bring two pairs of jeans, but I'm actually wearing these tonight, so don't need to bring those. Okay, this is my second dilemma. So first dilemma, check, completed. This is not part of the dilemma. This is my new rain jacket I got, Peloton one. It was, they had such an incredible sale. Oh my goodness. Let's just say I, I went hard in the paint for the Peloton sale. Okay, so jean jacket. This will be worn during travel day. Next dilemma, all right? So. Let's just say I don't think I have ever brought this many fanny packs with me, but I want to do it. So, right now at this current moment, I am having my check luggage, my carry-on, and then my personal item, which will most likely be my duffel. Thank you, Casey. She just came over and licked me on my knee. She's just so sweet little baby. So during our trip in October of last year, obviously because it's March, we found these cute lounge fly animal kingdom bags, right? Adorable. They are massive inside. It has like the Disney's animal kingdom print on the inside. They are huge. My mom and I ended up purchasing four when we were there. I bought one. And then, or my mom bought one for herself, I think. Or, I don't know how it went, but we went back like three different times. Um, we, her and I both ended up getting one. My sister, she got my sister one. And then I also got one for my friend and shipped it to her. They are just so cute. And I really wanna bring this for Animal Kingdom. The only thing is that it kind of got like nebly on the bottom just from like rubbing against I think I had a sweatshirt on or shirt or something, but it is what it is. So obviously I need to bring this backpack. Obviously, right? Okay. So this one lays really flat. And I feel like all of my stuff lays really flat, but it does do a good job of not taking up a lot of space. Okay. There's bag number one. Everyday park bag and I'm looking at these and I already know which one I have to put back and I'm so sad So everyday park bag. 
I'm gonna bring my dynamic duo. I feel like I've been bringing my red one, my ruby, um, for the past couple of trips. So we're gonna mix her up and we're gonna bring back my OG Stony Clover backpack with my dynamic duo. She's kinda dirty, but no worries. She's all right. She's just, she's my trusty gal. So we're gonna bring dynamic duo with us. And this will be one that I probably take to the parks with me. Most likely with my fanny packs. And then, oh what my gosh, this one. I saw someone carry this bag in Epcot, I think it was. I don't even remember. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is like so cute. It is vintage Disney. I, my mom, this is like a childhood memory for me. My mom had this black tote with this on it. And I just remember her like carrying that to when we went to like the lake and the pool and we went on our Disney trips. So I went to eBay. I never shop on eBay ever. And I found one and it is so stinking cute. So it is the like Walt Disney World logo. And it has the Velcro and like the drawstring, like old timey tags, y'all. Like it is so cute. I feel like I have to be very careful with the drawstring in general, but like it's massive. So I think I might bring this with us to Epcot on Wednesday and then also wear my yours truly fanny pack so these two are definitely coming with me this one's also nice because it like folds up very easily alrighty but see this is like my biggest issue is that it's supposed to rain and so I feel like I need to bring a backpack with me because of that so then I can have all of my rain gear with me if I bring all my rain gear, then it's not gonna rain. If I don't bring any of my rain gear, then it's gonna rain and I'm gonna wanna buy a $30 poncho or however much it is. Casey, I'm watching you. So I feel as I need to bring a fanny pack, not a fanny pack, a backpack every day, which like my dynamic duo one is like just Disney and could go with everything. However, however, on Friday, we're going to Magic Kingdom and I would love, love, love to bring my princess backpack because I have my princess fanny pack now, but I don't think I'm going to. I think that's the one that has to stay home. And like, it's sad because that's such a cute outfit, but like get over it right first of all problems so four fanny packs and three backpacks I feel like I'm doing a good job of packing um, my clothes this trip and now I'm just like going off the hinges for bags but it is what it is and I even wanted to bring one of my lounge fly backpacks that I never use anymore Okay, so now we are on to the randoms of them all. We have so much going on right now. Alrighty, so definitely bringing my Donald's headband. So all of these items are going to go into this large pouch, okay? So we have our large pouch. I have my trading pins. I'm probably gonna, so I have my trading pins is like in a very old zippity from Splash Mountain. They used to give these out to you. So I'm gonna go through these, but these are my traders. So I have my portable charger. Um, I've talked about this many of times, but it allows me to charge phone, watch, and um, AirPods all in one. So this is super helpful. I got it, I think the beginning of last year, or the year before that. I have my silk pillowcase that I love. I don't travel with the pillowcase, and so just having a silk pillowcase 
I don't know, just makes me feel a little bit better. Casey, what are we doing back there? I have my eye mask. This is really helpful when you are traveling with a large group of people or staying with a large group of people um, because I will put my eye mask on, throw my AirPods in if I'm ready for bed and nobody else is. Totally fine. Okay, now this is my small pouch. This is not going to go in the large, but this is where all of my electronics go. So, um, camera charger, I have my luggage layer in here, just other random cords that I might need, um, and then I have my microphone. That's where my phone that is going to go in here as well. So this is good to go. I have this small pouch that I'm actually going to put in my fanny pack and I'll show you what's going to go in here downstairs. But then I am going to put my headband in here. Fan. It is like getting warmer and warmer by the minute y'all. I am getting kind of nervous but it'll be fine. So I have this wallet and I'm not sure if I want to take this one or my other one so this is going to come downstairs with us. And then I have this little jewelry case. I've talked about this a couple of times before, but this is just so I can like have something to throw my rings in that's like right by our bed. Okay, so now we're into like my cabin bag. So I have gum, deodorant, hand sanitizer, my thing that will hold my phone. I am going to throw my headphones, oh not my headphones. My sunglasses are in here as well. These, this is for my other pair of sunglasses I'm going to be taking. My new koozies that I got from Impossible Dreams Co. So I'm gonna take these, I'm actually gonna throw one of them in here cause I'll bring this small with me to the park every day. So let's throw our little cute Louis Vuitton one in there. So I'm just gonna put these in my large pouch. And then I have all of my magic bands in here so i'm going to take one magic band put it in that bag so i can have it right when we land i can throw one on other magic bands are just going to fit right in here and then this small pouch is just with a bunch of random stuff honestly i am just going to keep it in there and it will be good to go and i'll just toss it in on top I always bring a mask with me, just in case. You just never know. And then I have a little baby poncho. I also have all of my other rain gear, but you never know. So these are actually magnets. And since we are going for Jackson's birthday, I am going to request him to wear a birthday magnet. But anyway, so... These are just like bigger magnets and you don't have to use like the pin. AirPods are gonna go in here. And then I'm gonna throw my extra battery chargers in here since I know this will be like my park bag one. And then I think that should be most of all of my other randos. Alrighty, let's head downstairs. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up and we just sing along And I can't help but feeling just loving this moment Can we stay here?
leave. So we leave it tomorrow, which is really exciting. Thankfully, we don't have to leave our house until 11.45 a.m., I'm pretty sure. So I will have time in the morning to like get my life situated a little bit. I am pretty much all ready to go. I'm gonna flip you around, show you where we're at, get our snack bag, and then zip the duffel. So, sugar plum, Casey girl, my dog doesn't get into anything. Okay, I'm gonna flip you around. Oh, also, it's just getting hotter by the minute in Florida. Are we shocked? No, but yeah. I'm just like, do I need to bring anything else? I think I'm fine. I'm like, do I take out, I like this really cute daisy fluffy top. I'm like, do I just take that out? Do I not even bring that? Cause it's supposed to be like in the 90s now or like 88 and it's not 88 here. And so it's gonna feel really warm. So we'll see like what the weight is on my suitcase. You know what? I think I might just take it out because then I'm not gonna wear it. We'll probably do that. Okay, I'm gonna flip you around. Okay, all the clothes packed, ready to go. This side I have my shampoo. I'm bringing two pairs of tennis shoes, wearing one pair on the plane, one's packed, sandals, all my toiletries, straightener, extra pair of socks that I just washed. And then over here, I have my carry-on. Guys, look at all this space. I know, I'm so proud of myself. And then look at my duffel. Literally, like nothing is in there. So I'll throw my fanny pack in there as well. And like all of that will go in there. I have to get my snack pouch as well. My blanket that I take, no big deal. Have my jewelry. I'm pretty sure that is everything I needed to grab. Let's check our list. Okay. Yep, so laundry is pretty much done. Pack jewelry, I need to finish editing my video for next Tuesday. And straightener done and dusted. So I'm pretty confident. I just have to get my makeup bag that's also upstairs. Look how cute she is. Casey girl, are you the cutest doggy ever? You are. So yes. Pretty confident of where we're at. Let's get our snack bag and take out Daisy. Okay, terrible lighting in the kitchen. Maybe you want to say it won't be awful. Here's my snack bag, my snack bag, my snacks. Um, I got us some snackies from Tarjay. I got the peanut butter monster trail mix, and I also got the cashew caramels. This one is my favorite, but I think I'm gonna keep that one here and just take the peanut butter monster. Got some fruit snacks. Got some Sour Patch Kids. I have my collagen and my vitamins. This is like a Whisquare. Uh, if you've seen these, I feel like they're all over. I always get Instagram ads for them. You can buy them at Costco too. There's like another section too. Oh, here he is, Pasquale. That comes, I just don't need the three. Um, and then I also have ah, my new Gilmore Girls patch. Literally obsessed. And this has all of my liquid IVs in here and I actually need to grab one so I can put it in my water bottle to fill up. I have my fluffer, whatever you wanna call it, um, for our coffee in the morning. So, snack bag's ready to go, I'm gonna bring some kind of breakfast bars. I normally don't eat breakfast. I'm sure that's like not a good thing, but I feel like on vacation, I eat breakfast more than I do at home. Okay, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Oops, Saturday, Sunday, there we go. Okay, Um, this is another thing. So I do have to make a lunch tomorrow for myself. I am going to, now I'm thinking, should I put this in my suitcase? And then just 
put my lunch in my duffel. So I'm gonna make myself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for dinner. So I'll eat lunch before we go. And then on our flight, we leave at three and leave at seven. So that's like kind of late. Um, and your girl gets hangry, but I know that about myself. And so I'm going to prepare myself to not get hangry. So that's the plan. And I'm gonna make myself like a dinner on the plane. Obviously I won't have like my fun bubbler, but that's okay. And yeah, then we should be good to go. So I'll do that tomorrow. I'm gonna add it to a reminder on my phone though so I don't forget and get to Jackson's parents' house and be like, shoot, I forgot my sandwich. Um, Cause you know, Southwest, they, they've been, they switched up our free snack and now they're like these graham crackers that and I want my trail mix back. Just a little PSA for you. So we're gonna go put this away. And then, add my reminder. Don't let me forget. Please remind me. Do not forget to make my lunch because y'all, I'll be set. See, look how much better that lighting is over here. <laughs> so in here I have my like random cabin bag. And then I'm putting, so last time we went through TSA um, where we live and they tagged my pins. And so I am just taking them, I put them in their own little pouch now, my pin pouch, and I'm putting them in my duffel. So like if they do tag them, it'll just be easier to find. And then this is my friend Ashton's uh, keychain from Sony Clover. So I might actually run upstairs and get a large pouch to throw some of these like odd and ends things in. That's what I'm gonna do, I'll be right back. Pouch secured. I brought a small too, but I think I'm just gonna go with my large. I think that should be good. So why I organize this, we're gonna have a little chit chat about time zones. So right now it is March 11th. March 11th? Yeah, so it's March 11th. And that means we're registering for Wine and Dine for Run Disney tomorrow. And my friends and I are chatting about time zones because I'm Eastern, all of them, I'm Eastern. I'm Central, I wish I was Eastern. All of them are Eastern. But our friend Molly is actually in Thailand right now. And so it is Tuesday, March 12th at like 7 a.m. Her time. So we're like, you are in the future. It is just so crazy. She said she's like getting really thrown off by it, which I couldn't even imagine. I feel like that would just throw me, throw me for a loop. Alrighty, so all of my odds and ends are gonna go in here. Hold on, Case. And then my computer is also going to go in here. Water bottle. And then I have my fanny pack. I'm going here. Oops. I'm going to throw these in here. I'm going to keep the wallet on top. I chose to use my Daisy fanny pack for traveling because I don't know how much I'll actually get to use it in the parks this time around. So, duffel is ready to go. I can take this upstairs. I'm gonna get Daisy out of my carry-on after I go play with my dog. And then we're gonna be ready to go. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. All right, I just had to open this one time because I had to get a couple of extra things. I had to get my weigher to weigh that suitcase, which is at 48 something pounds. This girl is ready to go. She is not very full, um, but there really isn't anything different in here that I didn't show you, just my lunch. I have to go get my wallet that is upstairs, so I'm gonna keep that open. I ended up throwing my face stuff and all my makeup and Jackson's case, because he had the room and why am I gonna stress out about it? I could easily fit it in my duffel but he has plenty of room. So, I'm gonna zip this up, 
and then i just have to go grab my ipad and then we're ready to go so thank you so much for watching today's pack with me video i hope you learned something new that can help you during your next magical adventure that does not even have to mean that you have to go to a theme park but i hope you guys have a magical rest of your day make sure you give this video a big thumbs up make sure you're subscribed to the channel because i have lots of fun vlogs coming and we're gonna do a really fun tour celebrating this guy's birthday tomorrow <laughs> so exciting but i hope you guys have a magical rest of your day and i will see you real soon bye